Hello my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, we're gonna look at how do you add uh, spacers or you know little breaks between the sections in your bar charts in Tableau. Kind of a common question I would get while teaching classes. A lot of people are coming to Tableau from the world of Excel and they are used to creating bar charts like this where maybe there's some space there by default or maybe they're sort of able to um, create some space automatically or you know use Excel's features to be able to do that. Tableau does not automatically add spacers between your sections like that. So what I mean, let me go ahead and flip over to a you know worksheet here. Whether your bars are horizontal or whether your bars are vertical, you know, typically Tableau just does these things back to back. Now you can add like a divider in there, but there's not going to be, you know, 50 pixels of space necessarily. So there are some different ways to kind of jerry-rig your way around that. You could do multiple worksheets and like use blanks in a dashboard, but that gets a little funky because you need them all to be on the same axis. Um, so I'm gonna share a tip I actually saw for the first time from Ken Flairledge on LinkedIn. Uh, he's a Tableau legend and wizard, so he's a great follow. You should uh, check him out. Um, so he actually showed this with the bars horizontal. I think that's where this uh, little trick works best, um, but I'll also show you this vertical as well. So first of all, basically, let me tell you at a high level what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some subtotals, and then we're basically just gonna hide them so the user doesn't see them anymore and doesn't know that that's what's allowing those little spacers to be there, okay? So to add those subtotals, what I'm gonna do is, let me start by going to the analytics pane. I'm gonna go to my total section, I'm gonna drag this out to my worksheet and then drop it on subtotals, okay? So now I have some subtotals, which I don't actually really wanna see, but they're gonna allow us to add these spacers. So there's two main things we need to do. Um, one of those is to, <laughs> we're gonna hide the subtotal bars, which seems funny. Um, so this actually got me, I had to kind of double check this one a couple of times. What you wanna do is just a standard left click on the bar, like, you know, just like you're selecting any other data point in Tableau. So just a standard click on the subtotal bar. There's gonna be this little, uh, you know, tool tip that pops up. There's a section called automatic. And if I hit that drop down, there's an option there to hide the subtotal. And so what's interesting about that is it hides the bars. Uh, the, the headers are still there though. But the other nice thing is that it resets the axis. So, you know, typically a subtotal will bump that axis way out, right? Like you see here, it's going up to 1.2 million. But once that's hidden, it drops back down to like 450,000, okay? Um, quick side note before we carry on, we do Tableau classes all the time. If you check out this info button in the top right corner, uh, we run Tableau classes every month. Things like calculations, Tableau prep, the basics of desktop, building dashboards. We'd love to have you there. Feel free to check that out. Ollie and I uh, are so excited to be able to teach you this, uh, not only on YouTube, but you know, teach you in more depth outside of YouTube as well. Uh, okay, so let's finish this thing up. So how do we get rid of that little header there where it says total? I'm gonna right click on that and select format. And then just where this label here says total, uh, we're just gonna backspace all that out so there's nothing there, okay? So now we have some spacers. Uh, we probably do need to do a little bit of cleanup. It kind of looks funny with these little sectional dividers still. So if I just right click in the background of my worksheet and select format, um, let me see, I think I wanna go to the lines section. I'm gonna go to the row, no, I was wrong. I'm gonna go to the borders section. I'm gonna go to the row dividers. I'm gonna turn those to none. Um, so that looks a little better. You know, maybe I wanna turn the column grid lines off. That's sort of a personal preference. Might wanna get rid of the axis. Um, so there's just little things like this that we can do to kind of clean this up to just make it look sharper. Um, so there you go, we've added a little space here now. Um, now I do wanna show you that this is also possible if the chart is oriented vertically. I don't think it looks as sharp and I'll tell you why. Um, so if I hit our little Tetris looking swap axes or uh, swap rows and columns button here on the toolbar, um, you can see the same idea, you know, I can get rid of these lines. Now, maybe this is a really nitpicky thing, but what annoys me is that um, the, the section here for segment like consumer, it's centered as if there are four bars. It's not centered as if there are three bars. I don't know, I guess I'm crazy, but that, uh, that kind of annoys me. So I've tried different alignments with it and didn't find anything that I loved. Um, but you know, maybe you don't care about that as much or you know, feel free to tinker with it. And then maybe, maybe you do find a solution uh, that you like. So there you go. That's a little thought on uh, how to add spaces between sections of your bar charts in Tableau. So thank you for checking in on this video. We appreciate you all being here. We drop videos like this every week. So feel free to follow along, check back in. We'll have some more for you. Thanks.